But overall, I would say my family, which is all country as a chicken coop, <laughs> they were discouraging of it. They were like, well, Michael, you can't make a, a living hunting. It. This is ridiculous. This, you done gone crazy. Man, you need, you know, I had went to heat and air school. So I had gotten a degree in air conditioning technology and I just gotten a job as well, just out of high school, um, being a service man, like a service man for eating in there, installing air conditioners. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize that. Well, my grandma and my uncle were devastated. Like, you got a van. You got a suit with your name on it. I'm, I know, but I don't, I'm not fulfilled. I'm, I'm completely fine. I'll do this the rest of my life. But I'm also 17, 18, 19 years of age. I, I think I should try this. I'm sitting here trying to talk adults who love me into pushing them to realize that I think I should try this opportunity. No different than the kid who wants to go to Nashville to be a singer right. or the, or the kid right. like you that went from Chattanooga. Said, right. I think I'm going to start guiding fish out West. I, yeah. you, know, you ain't fish those rivers out West Never. outside of just for a hobby. Yeah. Never. But like now I'm going to go out here and start guiding. Right. right. Okay. And so, so I was kind of in the same boat. And so I realize now that I look back and it saddens me. And that's one reason I'm glad we're talking about this stuff. If there's a man or woman listening or watching this podcast and you've always wanted to do something, go for it. But go for it with everything in you and have the confidence that you can be great in it. Because the reason I say that, I started realizing that a lot of my friends and even my family, they are just living this slow, conservative, safe route to death. And that's pretty bold of me to say that. But it, 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 they're not taking any chances. And I have learned that you do fail a lot, but, but if you keep getting back up and swinging, you succeed. And so with this in America, there's so many ways. I mean, there's gotta be a Jay-Z. There's gotta be a Beyonce. There's gotta be a Tom Rowland. There's gotta be a Michael Jordan. There's gotta be a Chuck Adams. There's gotta be a Dale Earnhardt who, who in some of these areas that we have a chance to play in could think that they would be a livelihood. I'm not saying that's easy, but it's not it's not wrong for Americans or anybody or human being to go after being into this 10 percent or 20 percent. And I think what happens is most of the people who love us the most, I catch myself as a parent now doing it. We try to push into the yes. safe zone of this 80, 90 percent of making a livelihood, you know, working at a high rise or being in the agency rather than to push to own the agency. And so. In a deep way, I think that's the problem with America. Now we get into the point where people don't even want to work. They just want to sit at home and just get something given to them. And so uh, I, I think the American dream is still alive, but it's only alive if you dream and you have the the balls. Of, I know that I, I guess I can say it on this yeah. podcast to just go get after it, yeah. to go get after it. And if you fail, you can still jump back into that 80 percentile. 